Today is the day a little boy from Frisco has been anticipating, getting to meet two strangers who forever changed his life with a single cheek swap. On this National Donor Day, this remarkable child and his family got to say thank you. The doctors and staff at Children's Health in Dallas changed Evan Jurgensen's life. Today, for the first time, he's meeting the other two pieces of that puzzle. Would you like to meet your donors? These two strangers living on opposite coasts flew into Dallas for this moment. Nice to meet you, Rob. Me too. <laughs> a moment not lost on Evan. I mean, it means so much to me that, I mean, they, they, saved, my, they saved my life. At only nine years old, he was diagnosed with two types of leukemia. His only hope for a cure, a bone marrow donation. That's where Daniel Birthline comes in. We won the best lottery out of one in 64,000 people. We had you, and you were a perfect match. After doing a simple cheek swab as a freshman in college, Daniel got the call. I don't think there's a clear call, calling in life when you're told there's a 10 year old boy or nine year old boy who needs you to save their life. Through the Be the Match registry, Evan got a chance at a rebirth day, but then nine months later, the cancer came back. It made me scared because I knew that I relapsed. He'd need another donation. It is a God thing. Evan had beat the incredible odds once. Patients are most likely to match with a donor of their own ethnic background. We're mixed with ethnicities, so that makes it even harder to find a perfect match. We found two. Jonathan Stid had registered to be a donor after a fellow lacrosse player's mother was saved by bone marrow donation. He didn't hesitate. I'd like to make it seem more heroic, but I went for a run like two days later. Thanks to their selfless gift, this 11 year old boy has his entire life ahead of him. We are eternally grateful, eternally grateful to them. Evan's mom shares a small token of her appreciation. Keychains marking two special dates. It has his re birthday and his re re birthday. On this National Donor Day, these blood brothers are calling on you to register to be the match. If you are minority or mixed race, you know, it's like you are incredibly important to this process. When you actually hear that you could save a kid's life, it feels amazing. He's an amazing little boy. And because there are more Caucasian donors in the registry, Caucasian patients have a 77% chance of finding a match when compared to only 46% of Hispanic and 23% of black patients. In Evan's case, he matched with donors who are Caucasian. So it just goes to show the need is out there. It's incredible. And everyone, if you're interested, uh, can help. And if you'd like to find out how, you can head to cbsdfw.com slash links. I love the, com the comment that his mother made. She said, we have won the best lottery out there yes, when they yes. matched. They won it twice. Twice. Yeah. And Two not times. to embarrass our photojournalist, Tom Ream, who did an excellent job with this, but after hearing Evan's story, he says he is going to register. All right. I think a lot of other people yes. will probably follow in the same way. Yeah.